What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of Crystoria video. So, feels weird to be making a non-arise video for uh, the first time in quite a little bit. Because uh, obviously me, along with I'm sure most people, have been, you know, non-stop playing Arise since it came out. I have not beaten it yet, but I have played quite a bit. But uh, I still need to cover this stuff, so uh, here we are. So, we do have a new banner coming. Uh, I assume it's going, you know, Wednesday or Thursday, because uh, it's usually two days uh, after they reveal it. And it was actually kind of funny, because I really couldn't tell at first who the silhouettes were for. The first one was pretty easy to tell, but the second one had a lot of people guessing a bunch of different things. But uh, eventually a lot of people uh, come to the conclusion on who it was. So let's take a look at who we're getting. Uh, let me grab this so I don't forget. So, we are getting an SSR Patty and an SSR Hisui. Um, at first, people thought with how the silhouettes looked that they would be summer versions, since it kind of looks like Hisui's like on the beach. And then uh, when you saw Patty's hair, it almost looked like kind of summery, but that's just, they, they were, <laughs> I mean, Patty obviously is on a pirate ship because, for obvious reasons. And then Hisui, you know, just happened to be in front of the ocean. So they did kind of bait us a little bit there. Um, but let's take a look at what they do and what, you know, what they are. Uh, oh yeah, free September premium summon medals three. Oh yeah, because I guess technically, uh, Annis would have been banner number two. I think this is the first time we've had a, a premium banner three in a month. So the banner does drop on Wednesday. It drops Wednesday the 15th and it goes until the 30th. I believe there's only 30 days this month, which makes sense. Um... So let's take a look at what they do. So Patty is a light unit. Interesting. Uh, her Memoria, 5,500 HP, 1,900 attack, and 1,350 defense, and gives 27% attack to light allies. Um, let's take a look at her actual stats. Okay, so she's a pretty balanced unit. She seems to be a little weak in the... Uh, well, not really. I wouldn't say weak in the defense department, but she's not, like, super strong in the defense department. Um, so overall, her stat seems to be weighed more towards damage. Um, so 38,400 HP, 4680 attack, and 3480 defense. Uh, her skill is drawn by sea and stars. 18% uh, attack to light allies. 25% uh, chance light allies cooldown of arts to reset after use. So pretty good there. Mystic Arts, summon friends, cast chance form three types. Uh, cast chance from three types. So they are doing it exactly how it is in Vesperia. If you haven't played Definitive Edition of Vesperia, um, basically how Patty works is her Mystic Art has a random chance of being three different types of animations. So it looks like they are uh, keep... Oh my god, they're even doing it with her normal arts. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Okay. So these are, ooh, that's kind of her, these, so these are her mystic arts, where it says the three types. So right here we have the three different types. Um, it does look like they do the same, They so they do the same amount of hits and the same amount of damage, but the additional effect is different. Uh, I actually really like this. It sucks because you won't, like, if you need healing, you might not get the healing, you're taking a chance. Um... But I do like that they're trying to stay authentic to how Patty is in actual Vesperia. So, first thing for a minute. So, Mystic Art in general, um, it looks like there is actual... So, it seems like the one you're going to get the most is the first one. Because it has 34% chance, while the other two have 33. Um, but it, realistically, 1% is not going to make that big of a difference. Um, so, in terms of how it actually works, 420% attack, 5 hits, 1 enemy. Um, that's going to be the same every time you use it. Now, for the first one, 100% chance to increase crit rate of all allies by 45% for three turns. Second one is restore HP of allies by 65%. Uh, that's a really good heal for a non-healing unit. And then third one is 100% chance to decrease defense of one enemy by 40% for two turns. So, uh, there you go. So, she, she's going to be a very interesting unit to uh, use for sure. She's not going to be someone you want to rely on if you're using it, using her for as a healer. Like, if you don't have Light Estelle or something, um, Patty is not going to be a replacement for that because 
you have a one in three chance of even getting the heal. So if you don't get the heal, you could die. Um, but it is a nice kind of added bonus uh, on a unit. Um, and then her two arts, Trigger Tune, 190% damage, three hits, one enemy. Additional effect, 100% chance to increase attack of self by 20% for two turns. And then her second art is Little Big Chef, 220% damage, two hits, one enemy. Additional effect, restore HP of all allies by 20%. So that, I mean, that's a guaranteed heal every three turns. So that's kind of nice to have for uh, Light. So now let's take a look at Hisui, who is a wind unit. Uh... His Memoria is 15%, 15, 15,000 HP. Sorry, I've been doing a lot of talking in my Tales of Arise playthrough, so words are not my best friend right now. 15,000 HP, 1,200 attack, 2,300 defense, so definitely Memoria on the more defensive side. Uh, and it has 100% burn resist, which is pretty nice to have. Um, okay, so it's for his actual stats, 44,400 HP, 3,120 attack, and 4,200 defense. So he's definitely an HP and defensive unit. Um, and... Oh, and then of course his skill. Uh, I never miss. 20% uh, attack to wind allies at 20 hits. And then 30% to attack wind allies at 40 hits. Um, so that's pretty good there. He's going to build the attack for the rest of your team. Golden Eagle is his Mystic Art, 150% damage, 40 hits, 1 enemy, so he's a combo builder, as we can see definitely right here. 100% uh, chance to increase attack of all allies by 40% for 1 turn. 1 turns. <laughs> uh, his first art is Revitalize, uh, it's, a 20, it's a restore 28% HP to all allies, you can use it every 5 turns. Then it also has an additional effect of 100% chance to increase defense of all allies by 25% for 3 turns. Um, and then his second art, I don't know why I say um so much, I don't usually say um that much. Uh, <laughs> Wheeling Raven, 80% attack, 23 hits, 1 enemy, uh, cooldown is 3. Additional effect, 100% chance to increase attack of all allies by 20% for 2 turns. So, with Patty, we've got a pretty, you know, offensive unit for Light. With, you know, definitely some healing factors. So, Patty's going to be a pretty solid unit if you need some help on your light team. And then Heatsui is going to be a win combo builder. But this Heatsui kind of feels pointless if someone has Mizella. If you summon during the anniversary and you have Mizella, you literally have no reason to summon for this Heatsui. So, um, I feel like the main prize of this banner is... I mean, obviously, character-wise... You know, if you like He Sweet, then of course, you know, you're going to summon. But in terms of like team building, you're not going to replace Mizella with this He Sweet because Mizella is better. Um, and there goes the ums again. Patty uh, is definitely going to um and us. Uh, Patty is going to. I don't really know who she would really replace because she's really just kind of like a good sub attacker. I don't really. I can't really think off the top of my head who's a good replace, like, who's better than Patty for light. Uh, of course, Artorias just came out. You're not going to, you know, replace Artorias with Patty, but Patty could be a good support for Artorias, I would say. So a good, like, secondary attacker. So it just really depends what you have uh, with your account and what you're kind of working with. But this banner is a definite skip for me. I don't need either of these two units. I'm sure I will pull them, you know, down the line. I was actually kind of looking, because we did just get a, uh, if you have been logging in every day, we got another SSR ticket from the after the anniversary celebration login, and I was looking through the list, and there were all, there's only, you know, I was so happy when all these SSRs got added to the ticket pool, because I was like, oh yeah, there's so many I probably missed, but then I look at the list, there's only two I'm missing. It's the Wind Yuri, and... I'm trying to remember who the other unit was on that kind of lit. Oh, and Aizen. The Earth Aizen. Those are the only two units that are in the current ticket pool that I am still missing. So, I of course expect when the 1.5 anniversary starts for them to add units probably all the way up to... Uh, probably even all the way up to here. They could go all the way up to this uh, Patty and Hisui and just all the SSRs. Which it would be good because this time there actually are a lot of SSRs because I haven't summoned, you know, for a good while, close to the anniversary and after. 
so there would be a lot of units that I could still definitely use. But that's it for the units, but we do also have a limited quest incoming. Light of Miracles. So we're getting an SSR Norma Memoria and an SR Rudy Memoria. So let's see what their elements are. So Light is the obvious pick for this event. So you're going to want to be using... I mean, I say you're going to want to be using the Patty and your Light team. But realistically, as I've noticed lately, most events still... Like, for example, the Artorias event, which they want you to use your Dark team. I didn't use my Dark team. My Dark team died on the first stage. But... I ran through with my fire team with Kanata, and I was able to do all eight stages. Um, so it's probably going to be a similar thing here where people are probably going to benefit, depending on what kind of event it is, whether we're dealing with... I mean, we'll look in a second, but if it's multiple enemies, you'll run Vicious. If it's not multiple enemies, if it's just single enemies, run Kanata. Uh, and you'll still probably be... I think Kanata uh, <laughs> may have been a bit too powerful for his own good because most content can just be cleared with a good fire team now. Um, I guess to quickly look, uh, it's a defensive Memoria, as you can see, uh, definitely gives defense and HP, and then the Rudy Memoria is HP heavy, uh, with burn resist. Burn resist is actually good, so this will be a good, uh, Memoria to kind of grind up. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have, yeah, collect event points for rewards, so it's gonna be the usual thing where we have the stages for the rewards, and then you can get the shop currency for doing the raids, so... That'll be kind of nice to do there. Uh, let's see. Who are going to be the other bonus? Okay, so these are the only bonus characters. Because there's no, like, raid-ups going on right now for, like, other characters. So, it's pretty much you get the bonus drops for these characters. And if you don't summon for them, then you have the normal drops. And besides that, you know, limited raid is going to change. Uh, I believe Voiver is the wind one. Yeah, so you're going to want to be using your Earth team for this, so... Vicious will... I mean, Vicious isn't attack all, but he still works as a single attack unit. He still hits hard enough to where... I mean, he'll, he won't hit like Kanata, but he'll still hit for easily over a million uh, if you can get the right setup. But that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you're going to be summoning for Patty and uh, Hisui. I am very excited to see what they do with Arise, because I do feel like they're not going to wait too long to put an Arise banner up, but... They had stated they want people to at least finish the game first before they start adding them to the mobile game. So I'm going to guess at the very earliest we could see October 1st, we could see an Arise banner. Especially in Crystoria because you don't have to have a story reason for it. You could literally just throw Alpha and Geon on a banner. Um, you know, put their first Mystic Arts, uh, which is what they would do anyway. And then do, you know, from their pool of arts, just whatever arts you decide to choose. Because uh, those aren't spoilers. Those were... We knew what their Mystic Arts looked like before the game even came out. So, uh, I will be saving for that. And, uh, hopefully it's not too far off. But, well, I mean, I say that, but I also only have enough for, like, six multis. So, uh, I wouldn't be able to guarantee getting the units anyway. So, that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.